Hello and welcome to Nathan Plays Games. Guys, guys, there's a new version of Dogsled Saga out. The beta's been updated. Uh, and this game is pretty damn cool. So I'm going to head in and see uh, what's new. Demo's new. Let's click on this. Welcome to Dogsled Saga. Please select three dogs to start your team. Okay, uh, I want this one Sapphire Zebu uh, I would like let's see second wind's a good skill to have favourite thing victory yep and obedient I like that and let's have a look speed boost drop speed victory fame let's go for spike as he is also strong Nice team. Thank you. Get ready for your first race. I think this is just talking me what's through, going, uh, what you do in the game, even. And Musha's main duty is keeping the team fed during a race. Yep. Click and hold anywhere to aim, and release to throw. The food will follow the, the aim mark. I use spacebar for this. Well done. Watch your dog's breathing and running speed to see if they're hungry. Yep. Oh. Here comes a uh, restock post. It will full, fill, up, fill your food pack up completely. Make the most of your food between restocks. Yep. Tap three times to jump. And if you throw, when you're in the air, and they catch it, you get some fame. Super hungry. Brandy just got tangled. Tap her repeatedly to speed up the untangling. But I should probably feed, feed them. There we go. Winnings, $51. Alright. Third. Could do better. All of your dogs have gone up in skill. You'll start to see their cool skills on the racetrack. However, they are a bit tired. Some of their flaws might come out. This seems weird. I might go back to the normal mode. In particular, keep an eye on Brandy, who has become fairly unhappy. Racing has made Sapphire Zebo's skill level increase to 1. Sapphire Zebo is a natural wheel dog. It is now a speciality. She won't get tired as quickly in this position. Oh, I can't remember which one the wheel dog is. I think that's closest to you. The race exhausted Brandy. Her happiness went down to good. Racing has made Brandy's skill level increase to 1. Uh, this race exhausted Spike. Her happiness went down to good. Spike is a natural lead dog. It is now her speciality. She won't get tired. That is quickly. Okay. Let's do this race. So you can see on the screen the dog's uh, breath as they start to get tired. So you need to throw uh, them some food for them. Uh oh, something's wrong with Brandy. She just yelped and her fault kicked in. Pay attention to the effects of each dog's unique fault. So each dog's got faults and a, and kind of a skill. Oh. Uh, and so they kick in at various times in the race if certain conditions are met. So I've got a dog uh, that whenever it sees someone in the background runs faster for um, a portion of time. Because they are competitive and want to win. Look at Sapphire Zebra, she just barked and her skill just kicked in. Okay. There we go, got some fame as well uh, for two dogs catching at exactly the same time. Hey, look, for just finished first. Alright. Happiness down to okay. Happiness went up to good. You gave... S okay, cool. So this is kind of like a super quick version, like, route through the game. Because you, um, unless they've changed it, you earn money, uh, you got to pay your uh, league dues every four weeks. And then once you earn enough money, you can uh, 
afford the dues for League 2 and so on. Okay, let's just go through these. I'm going to forfeit. Right, there we go. If I get a start, manage team. Okay, so these are my dogs. Um, it keeps your save game through each of the updates, thankfully. Uh, so, we've got. If I go back here, there's. When you're actually racing, it's kind of simplistic in that you need to throw the treats, although that can get a bit difficult um, when you've got more than three dogs um, and then you've got all these obstacles in your way as well and limited supplies. And when it says restocks sparse, it really does mean sparse, especially on the longer tracks. Uh, so each of your dog has got um, kind of an, an ability, a fault, and uh, something it likes. So Indy here has got second wind, which means whenever they um, start to get tired, if I don't feed them properly, he'll, he'll recover from that. Uh, got good catch, which means you can don't have to be quite as precise in your throws. Um, and you've got second wind again, and I've got wavering too proud and wavering and then you've got favourite things which makes the uh, the dogs happy, so placing up, victory and catches. Uh, you've also got to think about um, their traits, uh, because I could put Maggie on wheel for instance which is the closest to, to the sled. So I've got strong as a lead, so you want your strongest dog to be pulling uh, the sled. And I've got two steady dogs uh, there. Uh, okay. So we've got races, we've got lengths, uh, conditions, so different types of day, snow quality high, uh, restocks sparse. Got, then these are the uh, different obstructions, so foliage, so the trees which block your food, uh, obstructions, which are the rocks you jump over, and wind, which makes it really difficult to um, throw food. <laughs> and then you've got challenge, so they're not too good, my components are this, and the, the winnings are $265. So I'm going to go for this one. So your dogs will get tired pretty quickly, or start to tire pretty quickly, so you... Okay. So this is uh, quite early on in the game. Um, I've got through to the final league, or at least the final league that was in that build. Uh, on my Mac, but I can't capture video from my Mac. <laughs> uh, but you can have up to five dogs, and it it goes a lot faster than than this. And with five dogs, oh, see if I can get some fame. Oh, I was a poor throw. With five dogs, you've got further to throw the food for the dogs uh, at the front, uh, so you're more likely to come into uh, obstacles. You've got many more obstacles. Uh, on a track, um, tougher components, uh, longer races, it does become quite a lot more challenging. When I first uh, bought this I was concerned that, because this kind of feels a bit slow in the early leagues, and uh, I wasn't really sure what was going on, but once I started coming up against tougher uh, competition, and had all of my different stats in play and had the right dogs in the right places. Um, it can't, something kind of clicked and it's just so much fun to uh, to go through. Albeit still a little bit too easy I thought. But hey, still the beta so you know. You can afford to join League 2. Go to the League menu if you think you're ready. So this is all new in this build, these screens here. Usually it's just text. or text in a different format I should say. Okay, leak, so I can go to leak 2, so I have $715. The monthly dues are of leak 2 is $600. Um, so I can pay that straight away to get in. Uh, but obviously the prize money for each race is, um, is going to be more. So I've got four weeks to go. So if I win four races, for example, I could get close to two, or just over $2,000. So that's not too bad. Um, let's see. I think I want to go for the one of the highest uh, winnings, and uh, it's short as well, with plenty of restocks. Uh, but it's night, and 
low quality snow. I guess that might just affect your speed, I'm not too sure. Alright, so you can see I'm pretty much having to feed them um, kind of all the time here you know, in order to keep their speed up, but it is very possible to run out. I've only got six at the moment. So you can imagine when you get more dogs, it becomes you've got to decide which ones are the most important if you're only on very limited uh, amounts of food. Oh. But luckily, I chose a race which has plenty of restocks. I remember being on one with five dogs on a long race with uh, only one restock in the entire race, and I, I did not win that race. And my aim here is terrible, and I'm going to hit the tree. Okay, good, there it is. Uh, so I'm currently in third. You can see all the other competitors in the background there. So I should be. There we go. And I think we're just coming to the end. There we go. So $660 in winnings. Uh, okay, so a bit of happiness there. Okay, I'm going to do one more race. Let's see, long... Yep, yeah, uh, let's try this one. So I, I really like the kind of concept and presentation of this. It's if somebody said to me uh, before I knew of it, there's a game where you um, kind of race uh, with sled dogs. I wasn't, I wouldn't be too sure what to think. Um, but I really like the art again in this, um, and it's. Oh. And it's just, uh, I find it quite fun to have kind of short bursts on with my with my laptop. Uh, I'm not sure I'd sit at my desktop here playing this. Um, but yeah, once you uh, once you upgrade to, to five dogs and with the much tougher races, it becomes really fun, or even even more fun, I should say. Uh, I'm not too sure um, how far along in the beta this is, or even what they're planning. Uh, when, I've, when I started playing this, I thought, wouldn't a, uh, an online mode be great in this, where you see the other competitors, like just in, in this mode, in the background. Uh, but I have no idea if that's if they were doing that, I imagine probably not. Um, but yeah... Uh, I look forward, they, up, they update quite regularly, about once a month, I think. Oh, I'm out of food. Uh, so, I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing what they uh, put in, what they refine. And also, uh, it's just been uh, greenlit on Steam, which is great, so it'll be releasing on Steam at some point. Right, see if I can get a final uh, push. Oh, no, a second. It's not too bad. Uh, so, uh, oh, let's have a look. Favorite thing? Happiness? Yep. Oh, okay. So you can you can rest out of a of a race and rest for a week, and that uh, makes some of your dogs uh, regain some happiness. And if you're if you're doing well in the races, you could kind of rest three, uh, one in every four, uh, so you still have enough money to survive in the league. Um, but uh, uh, you, so your dogs don't get too unhappy and tired as well. So um, you can pick this up uh, the beta access from uh, the website. Uh, it's dogsledsaga.com. 
uh, forward slash pre-order I think um, it's ten dollars uh, for to immediately get beta access or I think five dollars to pre-order and you receive it once it's finished so yes this has been a dog sled saga um, I, I quite like this a lot um, I'm interested to see where it will go uh, yeah okay so uh, thanks for watching and uh, see ya